Next, we can use the sketch tool to make modifications to the part itself. So what we have within the sketch ribbon here are all these various different tools, as you can see here, that allow us to, within the Hyperworks, make modifications to a part. So in this example, I'm going to create a new sketch. Here I can choose whether I want to specify the sketch on a surface or a plane. In this instance, I'm going to use a surface and just specify the sketch onto the surface of one of these brace structures. Pressing create takes us directly to the sketch plane. And as I selected a surface, it automatically pulls in the outline of the, of the, of the surface itself as reference for your sketch. To start, what I'll do is convert that curve or the reference into a curve and then use the offset tool to offset this to create a hole or an outline of the hole which I'm then going to remove material from to lighten the part itself and reduce mass. The offset tool has different features. I can choose chain selection or I can do individual selection. And I can select the individual lines, specify the offset I want to achieve. Let's say 25 millimeters here. Press enter and confirm the offset. So I can repeat the same function for these two models. Just specify again the 25 millimeters and again 25 millimeters here. Now you notice we are working in millimeters. With Hyperworks being a unitless system, as long as if you're consistent, you'll get consistent results. But here we can actually specify specific uh, dimensions that we want to work within. And that's all available and changeable through preferences. So now we've got the three offsets we need, we need to trim the additional lines. We can do that using trim and select the lines we want to delete leaving us with an outline of the pocket that we want to remove. Once we've trimmed them, another option we could do is just select the lines by doing a box select, hold control and continue our selection. And we can delete the existing lines that, that are available here. This will leave us just with the outline of the hole that we want to pocket. We also have the option if we select the lines to add different constraints to the the lines or the model itself or the, any parts of the sketch. So here we've got different options where we can fix. So in this instance, I'm just going to fix these sketches. We have like parallelization, options for horizontal, vertical alignment, coincidence, collinearity, equal dimensions, etc. So there's lots of different options here that you can to define your sketch. Also notice you have a key up here, whether your sketch is over constrained, fully defined or underdefined. It all specifies uh, here and, and, and you can clearly see the difference between values. So if you have a, a black model, as I do now, the model is now fully defined. It cannot be changed dimensionally. OK, the other thing what I'm going to do is just add some fillets. And what I can do is just specify the vertex at which I want to apply the fillet. Press this equals item uh, icon here. That means every uh, fillet I create will have an equal equal radius. And then I can specify the fillet. So I'm going to specify five millimeters here. I just press the play and you'll see that also removes the additional lines that I no longer need. Once the sketch is complete, we can use this sketch to create some geometry. 